Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a cruelty free makeup haul. So as you know recently I decided to go cruelty free and I'm still new to it, still transitioning and everything, but I did do some shopping and this is very collective. I've had some of this stuff for probably months at this point, but I just never did a haul. It's in a Zara bag because that's how I store stuff that I need to haul. It's a lot of stuff, a lot of it's affordable, I have a few like higher end things, but otherwise it's pretty much all drugstore or really affordable things. So let's just dive right in. Oh, and I also have some stuff from Lush. I was going to do a separate Lush haul, but I thought because I'm just getting into Lush, I would just do throw it in this haul too, make it a super long haul that you can watch. And I have some things from Laritzi, which is a cruelty free uh, beauty box type of thing. So we'll get into that as well. First thing I picked up is something I've already mentioned in a past favorites video, and that is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm just obsessed with this. I used it today to create this makeup look. Probably one of my favorite palettes of all time. It's just beautiful, and I don't know why it took me so long to get into the milk, the chocolate bar thing. Okay. Another palette I picked up is a Morphe palette with dust on it. This is the three. This is. This is a 350 palette, which is highly... This is a 350 palette that's highly coveted by a lot of people and it's very hard to get your hands on. I believe it sold out within a few hours that it was launched. I will say that the quality of the eyeshadows aren't spectacular. Oh God. Like when I compare it to the chocolate bar palette, for instance, these just feel a lot drier of a texture, if that makes sense, but definitely beautiful colors and it's affordable. All their palettes are really affordable. And I like this one because it seems like it has a good variety. Sometimes when you get these kind of palettes, it's like you get 15 of the same color, uh, but not in this one. I feel like it's a good mix of colors. I picked up a Milani Runway Lashes because I realized I don't have any cruelty-free mascara other than like sample sizes, so I needed a new mascara and this is my go-to Milani's Cruelty Free, so I'm so happy that there's a drugstore mascara that I know I already love that happens to be cruelty free as well. I got a Makeup Revolution uh, blush palette and I have a couple things from them in this haul. Super super pretty. I do feel like the colors are a little bit the same like these two seem like the same color to me. These are very me colors though. It comes with two highlighters as well but these are very cool toned highlighters so they're not like the most flattering on my skin because they have like a pinky undertone but overall I really love it. I love this color right here specifically um, and for the price I mean Makeup Revolution is really affordable so as you saw in my favorites video my two new highlighters that I've been loving I'm wearing the golden one today which I don't know if you can tell I never do a extreme highlight I'm just not into that but I'm wearing the golden lights one and these are just the baked highlighter powders very gorgeous highly recommend I love these so so much they're so good for the money they're five dollars so I have a bunch of ColourPop stuff to show you and lips and face and eyes super exciting so from their what was it their 90s collection I believe I got a bunch of stuff uh, I got three eyeshadows so one is in Supermodel which is oh which is basically like a perfect all over lid color it's so pretty oh. Then I picked up Mixtape, which is like a taupey, silvery kind of color. So pretty. I thought this was a really unique shade. It has like a purple underneath. It's very much like a taupe color. Kind of reminds me of Satin Taupe from MAC, so it might be a good dupe for that. And let me know if you want a dupes video, uh, cruelty free options for popular makeup items like MAC and stuff. The star of the show is Girl Power. Bright orange. I used it in my get ready with me i'm not sure which one but i will link it down below so different from each other but i just i love them all i got another highlighter this is in the color lunch money i decided to go with one of their most popular ones this one's a very golden color oh it's so pretty you could definitely use their highlighters as eyeshadows as well and then i decided to try four of the liquid lipsticks before they change their packaging i know i should have waited but mine have not leaked or anything yet but i will say i ordered one for sarah and hers leaked on one of my pillows and i was quite upset but these are the four shades i got they all look so similar to each other but they're not, they're different. I got the color Tool, which is a really pretty kind of berry color. I got Trap, which is a kind of a grayish nude. And then I got Beeper, which is actually a more like deeper warm nude, but still like in the Kylie Jenner 
uh, area. And then Bumble, which you guys know is my favorite because I mentioned it in my favorites video. So those are the four shades that I got. So pretty. I love all of them. And then I picked up two of the lippy sticks. I decided to try one of their sheer ones, which I haven't actually put on yet. Um, it's super pretty. I just, I thought for like school or something, it'd be good to just throw on kind of like a lip balmy kind of thing that wouldn't really transfer onto my Invisalign or anything. Um, so this is in the color Kiddo. And then of course the color Grunge. My all time favorite color in the world. It's just so perfect. It's a brownie, red toned, berry, fall. And the rest is all drugstore, so let's get into that. Wet n Wild came out with a new collection of their, uh, what are these called? So I decided to pick up four. It is not really a matte formula, it's the same formula as their previous ones, but the packaging is new. It's matte. It looks really pretty, right? I like this new packaging a lot. It makes it look so much more high-end and they're still like $2.19 each, so I got the color Coffee Buzz and photo bomb and vintage vibe and nightcap and they're all very similar when you look at them in the packaging but some are brownie some are red purpley things so i really really like these and i picked up all dark ones instead of like nude color ones i don't remember all of them that were in the collection but i found these at walgreens so you might want to try and track them down at your local walgreens because that's where i found these a couple things from jcat beauty and this I found at Ulta. I think it's one of the new kind of companies that have moved over to the United States that used to be just in the UK. And I got the Slide On Pencil. It's a lip pencil in the color Natural. Super perfect kind of nudie natural lip pencil and it's very creamy. I really like it. And then I picked up one of the Triple Crown Bright Baked, baked eyeshadows, and this is in the color Dulce de Leche. These are highly pigmented shadows. I find that a lot of baked shadows are, and I think when you mix these, that makes the best color personally, although separately they're all gorgeous. This is really similar to Nylon from MAC. If you're looking kind of like for a dupe for that, I would look into these like baked eyeshadows from JCAT. From Wet n Wild, I picked up some things. I've had this for so long, and it's actually so... It's like a perfect palette and the price is so good. It's one of the Fergie palettes and this is in the color Desert Festival. That's a really good name for it actually. If you like orangey colors or like uh, warm toned eyeshadows, this palette is amazing. I love every single color in it. Even the like beigey kind of skin tone one. They're so pigmented. I just really, really like it. I picked up a blush. I used to own this blush, but I wanted to get it again because I'm trying to expand my cruelty-free collection to use in videos and stuff like that, and favorites videos, and just in general, I want to use more product, so I picked it up again, even though I got rid of it at one point, but it's in the color Mellow Wine. And then I got this eyeshadow palette called The Naked Truth. I don't think I've seen this one in stores before, but it's actually so pretty. It's kind of like a cool toned palette, and I love Wet n Wild shadows because they are just so pigmented. Look at that, they're so pretty. Oh, I also picked up this from Wet n Wild. This is the color icon bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. It's a highlighter. But it's a very natural kind of highlight shade. Very natural. You could almost use it as an all-over face powder because it's just, it has very little shimmer in it, but it's just going to bring light to areas wherever you put it, and I think it's awesome for people who want natural highlight. From e.l.f. I picked up a few things. I got this blush in Berry Mary. It's so pretty. It's like a plum color, and it has gold Kind of shimmer in it. I picked up three of these things. These are basically blushes, bronzers. It says blush, blush, and shimmer. So the two blushes I got, one is a very natural kind of very highly uh, shimmered. It reminds me a lot of like Dallas or you know that kind of shade range because it has like a mauve undertone with gold in it so it looks like a bronzer but it is not. It's a blush. I got this blush which is glow. Sorry let me show you, tell you what this one is. This is in Koi. This one's in Glow. Pink blush with a lot of gold throughout it. I don't know if you can tell. It is like a lot of gold. That's that one there. It's just a really pretty natural pink and then you get all that gold in there. So it kind of is like orgasm from NARS but not a dupe for it. And then I got Shimmer which is a highlighter and this is in the color pink which is interesting because it looks like a yellow toned right there. Super pretty. From Milani I got three of these 
uh, what are these called? The gel powder eyeshadows, which they're just powder. So I got it in the color Bella Chiffon, which again is kind of a dupe from uh, Max Nylon. It's just that golden, bright, white, golden color. Color Bella Cappuccino. I used these once already and I am up with them. They're so pigmented and they blend so beautifully. This is Bella Sand. This is just a great all over lid color. Like, can we just look? So pretty. From Essence, I picked up a lip liner in In the Nude. So this one's a lot more warm tone. J-Cat one's up there. This one's that Essence one. Essence lip pencils, or like, my list is really bad right now. I'm sorry. Essence, Essence, Essence lip pencils are actually really good for the price. They, I think, are like a dollar, two dollars, something like that. And then I got a Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick. I love the, what is it called? I have a nude one that is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. It's so good. This one, I couldn't resist. It's so pretty. Basically like a Rebel from MAC kind of color. Just that like berry pink. So that's all the makeup. Now we're going to get into Lush. So... I recently went into Lush. I was working the other day and I got off and the mall is still open and I'm like, mm, I'm going to go into Lush. I'm going to, you know, try it out maybe. Try some skincare. I don't know. And I also wanted to pick up some things for my like break that's going on uh, in November. So I wanted to do like bath bomb or bath melt or something like that. So I stopped in there and the guy there was so helpful. I loved him and we bonded over horror movies. It was awesome. So he was so helpful with helping me like find things. So the first thing I got is Bouche de Noel. I got a lot of stuff from their holiday collection. Face and body cleanser. Fresh satsumas and gently exfoliating almonds keep skin smooth and radiant. It's a super hydrating uh, scrub basically but it's so gentle because it's just a little bit of almonds in there. Not like the shell or anything but just almonds um, to make it really gentle on your skin. He said you could use this every day. And then for a facial facial moisturizer, I thought I would try Magical Moringa. This is like a solid moisturizer. Look at that. Solid. He actually said this is made for wearing under makeup and I do like it, but I don't find, like I told him, I have the Sahara Desert on my face. It's super dehydrated and just dry. And he recommended this as like one of their most moisturizing facial moisturizers, but it's like, oh, I just got makeup in it, that's nice. I mean, it like melts into your skin, but what it does, it like feels like a makeup primer, how it has that slip in it. It's almost like professional. It feels like professional. It mattifies your skin. I'm wearing it under my makeup today, but I still feel like my makeup clung to dry patches, especially on my nose. So I don't think it's as extensive of a moisturizer as I need. So I might go back. I think what I need to do is just invest in a beauty oil and just dunk my whole body in it. I picked up a shower gel from their collection. I'm really sad this is limited edition. <laughs> smells so good. This is Rose Jam. It smells like the Lush store filled with roses. That's what it smells like. I really like it. I've used it once so far. The scent isn't so overpowering, but it lingers just a little bit. So it's just kind of like a nice smell. It smells like you just walked out of Lush. I picked up a massage bar and a tin to put it in. Uh, my boyfriend and I, we will like rub lotion in each other's backs because my skin is so dry. And I tell him like, can you rub lotion in my back? Because <laughs> it's so dry and I can't reach back there. And so I decided to get a massage bar. This one is called pearl and it basically smells like rose jam it smells like roses i didn't know the pink dye came out of the things i like put it on ryan's leg i'm like look at how soft and it dyed his like pink and i was like i'm sorry i picked up some things for the bath a while ago i got this and i still haven't used it and this is who knows i don't know what any of these are actually no i know what one of them are it's a little rose on top it smells like roses very fresh. I believe this is a bubble bar. And then I got two bath bombs. So this one is Twilight, which is my favorite thing. It's the first thing I ever tried from Lush, and it's my favorite thing I've ever tried from Lush. It is so good. It looks like that. So cute. Makes your water that color. Oh my god, the smell. It's supposed to have like lavender in there, and it smells so floral, and it just is so relaxing. So I think I'm gonna do this first on my break. I'm hoping to take like two baths, and I'm gonna like listen to a horror podcast while I take a bath because that's what I prefer to do. And then I got another one and this is new with their holiday. Once you see it you might, I mean you'll be able to find it on the website because it's very distinct. 
basically it has a little mistletoe on top it has all these mini little bath bombs in it that will dye your water like different colors so it's so cool this is also a very relaxing one it has that floral aspect to it but it's like calming it's so good that's all i got from lush and now we're gonna move on to la Ritzy, which I'm really loving right now. So it's basically a beauty box, and I do have a coupon code for you. Now this video is not sponsored, but I do have a coupon code, Sarah, for 15% off if you want to go on their website. Um, but I just... Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little story. Because I went girl too free, I have not found a deodorant. Okay, might know my struggle. I have some that Certain Dry has sent to me, which that story in itself is so amazing because I do suffer from hyperhidrosis and certain dry saw my story online and decided to send me products not to promote or anything just be for me because I had the problem which was so generous of them and I'm so grateful and I'm loving it however their AM solid deodorant does not work for me I still smell and I'm like I need to find a cruelty free deodorant I did some research online looks like I have to order online and I have to read reviews if the reviews say it doesn't work for people I know hands down it's not gonna work for me I am I need a strong one and right when I get this box in the mail when I open it what's the first thing I see a freaking deodorant so this is Zach a detox deodorant perfectly unscented I love that it's unscented I actually have it on now and it's the first time that it actually works and it is awesome it is vegan cruelty free paleo and non GMO it's very natural it has no aluminum or parabens in it it is amazing so this is the October box I haven't tried all the products I've only tried that one juice beauty green apple uh, age defy hand cream. I'm obsessed with hand creams. I'm all about anti-aging and I know hands are the first to show signs of aging and I know I like Juice Beauty. I've tried them before. It smells really good. It's almost like an herbal fresh scent. I really like that. So that's really cool and then I got some things from Strange Invisible Perfumes. Love the name of that. Two body washes, different scents and I'm so glad they did that because people may not like one. So this one is Sage and Rose. Oh. This is lavender and vetiver. Oh my god. And the last thing in the box is Feed Your Ends Leave In Conditioner, which is pretty cool. 100% vegan, free of gluten, alcohol, parabens, sulfates, and cruelty. Basically, just a spray and conditioner you put in after the shower. So, I'm going to try this out. I will let you guys know what I think about it. It's from. Your rock, food for your head, good for the earth. I'm really excited about La Ritzy. I kind of want to start doing it monthly because it's a good way to find cruelty-free brands. And there's not a lot of options out there for the beauty boxes for people who are cruelty-free. So I think it's awesome. You can just guarantee that everything's cruelty-free. So I'll leave my coupon code down below and the website to try out. I might just personally subscribe to it myself because I really like what like the selection I got in this box. I mean that's what I did with Grays. They contacted me, sent me a box, and then now I get it every two weeks and I love it so much. <laughs> you guys know I'd only promote something or talk about something that I genuinely would use or love and I think it's good evidence that I personally would subscribe to it and pay money to do it too and I mean this is a really really good one. So that is my long ass haul. I hope you enjoyed all that cruelty free goodness. Obviously based on the length of this haul you can find a lot of stuff that's cruelty free and it's not out of the ordinary, out of the realm of possibilities. So make sure to leave some video requests down below. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, so I am so excited for this video because I get to talk about something that I love, that many of you know I love, and I have a separate channel because I love it so much, and that is horror movies.